Um, I'm really excited to be here today. Um, what I'm going to be doing is this is all part of my 100 day project. I chose color or paint as my 100 day item. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And yesterday I went to a thrift store and I came across this very, very sheer polyester fabric. So, of course, paints are going to react differently because now I'm dealing with a polyester as opposed to most of the natural um, stuff that I use. So, I got to figure out how to do this. Now, it's kind of cool, but when you ruffle this, mama, how pretty. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, that's another whole project. So, anyways, but what I'm going to do is because I'm using Perfect Paints... Um, and fabric is not going to pull up multiple layers. It's only going to pull up the one layer that I pulled down of perfect paints. So I need to think about how I want to build my layers. What do I want my top color to be, my back color? So I basically have lined these all up. Perfect paints here. These four right here are four colors that I don't necessarily work with a lot. So I'm just going to make myself do it. And I added the yellow um, rain slicker yellow just as a pop. And you can see how that did pop on here. So over here, I do have some white acrylic paint because the colors are going to build up on my gel press. And I am going to want to pull them off. And I will pull them off using copies of vintage paper and that will be over here on my left hand side over here on my right hand side i have a pile a pile of crafters workshop stencils that i pulled out to use for this project so they're over here on a stool i've got my eight by ten gel press and i've got a five by seven over here in case i want to use it a lot of times with perfect paints I do go direct to my gel press, but who knows where I'm going to go along the way. I'm not going to get myself kind of boxed into anything. So, are you ready? Let's go play with color. I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so the things that I learned during this gel press playtime. The first thing that I realized was that I used a very busy stencil as my background and because I did that I ended up with very little white space which kind of didn't make me happy but I'm going to embrace it. I also found out that it was much easier to place something over top of the fabric um, to pull the color off. So I had a piece of book binding paper that I just just made it easier to smush with and the fabric had less of a tendency to move. So from there, um, I went and added Cajun pumpkin because I had already pulled up as much color as I was going to pull up with the fabric. Now, what I did realize on the flip side of this is it did pull up a little bit of that blue so that the orange wasn't quite super vibrant, but I loved it. I ended up totally loving how it came out. Okay, so once I had gotten all of that Cajun pumpkin up off of my gel press, I now wanted to clean my gel press. So I have gently floated a layer of white acrylic paint over top of the gel press. I've placed my copied image on there and look at the beautiful pulp. Ah! Absolutely and totally loving it. This is the pull from my um, 5x7 gel press that I was using over on the side and I used it here to once again pick up the extra. Ah! Don't you just love how that looks? Oh my gosh. These bonus prints that I'm getting are absolutely amazing and I am totally in love. So once I had satisfactorily 
cleaned up all of that paint because we don't ever want to waste any paint. I went to the lightest color that I was going to use, which is this beautiful rain slicker yellow. Ah, loving it. So here I switched the way that I had my gel press orientated because I wanted to get more full pulls, if that makes any sense. Because when I had it flipped it the other way, I got two full pulls and a half of another pull. So I kind of wanted this yellow to be a little different than that. So I just kept going until I was happy and had pulled all the paint that I could pull off my gel press. And like I said, we never want to waste any paint. So I'm pulling that um, yellow up off of the gel press using all of those bonus papers that I'm getting from um, all the paint that I've got. So here we go. These are the final bonus prints that I ended up getting. Who knows where these are going to end up? Uh, probably a mini book. They could get collaged into cards. Who knows? And then... There's the fabric. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I so need to find something to make with that fabric. Who knows where it's gonna end up, but I am totally in love. I hope you enjoyed my gel press play today with paint. So I hope you'll stop back by again. Until then, have a creative day. Bye.